G'day guys, how you doing? It's Kiwi, back with another video. From the office. <laughs> Hang on a sec, let me turn off this welder. Alrighty, there you go. Give you an idea of some of the stuff that I build. This is an exhaust manifold for the right driver's side of a Alice engine that is going in a custom car that I'm building right now. I'll show you that car later on. What I find very interesting is years ago, um, a certain Canadian psychology professor said that people on the conservative side of the spectrum didn't understand modern art, that we couldn't produce modern art. We had no idea about modern art. It was only people on the left side of the spectrum. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think this is a work of art in some way, shape, or form? I think it is. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just a mere peasant. I don't have any degrees or anything like that. But anyway... Woo! Let's get into this video. I, will, I really need, would like you guys... I know you guys are going to know, first and foremost, that we've been pretty much lied to about everything. Um, but what I really, really, really would like you fellas to really start to dive into, because the reason why I'm ask, suggesting this, it's only a suggestion, is the more that we realize how much we've been lied to and just how much everything around us is a lie, what it does is it frees our conscious energy up because everything that is around us is produced from our collective consciousness okay it's your energy mixing with my energy mixing with your neighbor's energy your parents energy your co-workers energy your boss's energy it's this big huge pool of energy so we're all co-creators in this world that is around us so one of the things that keeps us at a real, what I would call a low vibration, at a root energy around our genitalia area, which is the lowest chakra in our bodies. Um, and just so you know, um, that Canadian uh, psychology professor, he, he used to talk about this stuff in his university lectures years before he became really well known. So everything that that guy's been doing, he knows exactly what he's been doing and how he's been manipulating people and coercing people down a particular path. Um, he's actually a very, very dark individual. And so it's important for us to understand how these lies, how this negative energy has been played against us to keep our vibration down low. So the more that we understand the level of the lies, the more our energy will actually start to rise up. Because if, we're, if we decide that we, we don't want to take part in the system, as you know, we're still taking part at, at a level of consciousness in, any, in some way, shape, or form. However, the less and less and less that we take part in it, the more it frees up our energy and allows that energy to rise in our bodies. You know, we can see this esoterically right now between the feminine and the masculine, okay? The feminine are burying themselves in rampant materialism. And what that does is it keeps, keeps their vibration rate, keeps women's vibration rates very, very low at their root chakras. So we're seeing that playing out in the world today. That's all there is to it. There's no other way to explain it. What we're seeing on the, the masculine side of the spectrum, on the right side of the spectrum, is we're seeing men not wanting to take part in dating. Like right now, I've seen this statistic mentioned a number of times on other channels, and I've seen this statistic actually online, I have done my own research and everything, and roughly around 63 to 65% of males um, under the age of 30 aren't even interested in relationships with women. 
there's your answer. What's happening there is it's allowing men to, in some way, shape, or form, right, start to raise their consciousness in some way, shape, or form. They're still, young men are utilizing pornography far too much right now. They're spanking the living shit out of their monkeys. So it's, it's, not, it's not really helping raise their vibration, their energy that much. But it's a start. We'll do a whole video on spanking your monkey and choking the chicken and all that sort of stuff. But for the moment... We just, I need you guys to understand the, the level of the dogma, the level of the lies. So the, I'm going to leave a book in the description section below. It's a PDF download for a book that I'd highly recommend you guys reading. It will show you the level, the level of the malevolent manipulation deception that these guys have pulled against our society at the highest, highest level. These guys right here, I've sh many of my subscribers will know about this book and these fellas, but these guys here are basically Satanists. At the highest, highest level, they are Satanists. Now, what's very, very interesting is they are also these guys. So, pretty much, these guys right here are these guys right here, and vice versa. There is no differentiation between the two. My father was actually one of these fellas right here down in New Zealand. I can't remember how high up he was. He was starting to get high enough up where he started to realize that he didn't like what he was seeing, so he actually started to pull back from the brotherhood and started going back to church. And um, I told him many years ago, I said, well, ironically enough, these guys right here, have members that go around certain churches in Western society making sure that they're teaching specific doctrines. Um, the whole, whole fantasy, the whole doctrine behind God's chosen ones literally came from, literally was invented by these two groups of people right here. Or they're not two groups, they're one of the same. Um, and just so you know, the, the founding of a certain country by these guys in the Middle East, with the help of these guys right here, um, they, they worked together very, very diligently to bring that about because the gentleman that wrote the declaration to allow these individuals to have the Middle East was, was one of these guys right here. And the banking family that supported um, and funded these guys, plus the finding of that country in the Middle East, their family is always these guys. And the interesting thing is that these guys had a huge amount to do with the establishment of the United States of America. And if you look on the back of the U.S. dollar bill, on the Great Seal of America, you will see a bright shining star shining over the Great Seal of the United States of America. When you look at what makes up that star, it, you will see that it's a, it's a star of Dave. Yeah, straight up. The United, actually, if there was ever a promised land for a certain group of people, it was actually the United States of America. I mean, straight up. But some people just can't have enough. They got to have it all. That's all there is to it. So the level of these lies and deceptions and manipulations have been unbelievable. Like every war has been an absolute lie. Pretty much every major, actually not pretty much, every major news network is these guys. The majority of alternative media companies, these guys. I mean, the Daily Wire, for argument's sake. People think it's a conservative news network. BS. Absolutely far from it. It's absolutely pure propaganda. And 
I only saw this yesterday. There was, uh, I can't remember the channel's name. I wish I could th give a shout out to him. Um, the video showed up in my feed. I started watching it because it w I didn't realize the meltdown that was going on with Geordie P and his daughter and everybody else. It was just like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. But th there was, there was Geordie P in the Daily Wire, sitting across the table from Benny the Nutty Yahoo, shaking hands with him, and in the background is Ben the shit hero, freaking sitting there like a, you know, a, a Cheshire cat with a shit-eating grin on his face like nothing else on earth, and I'm just like, oh my god. These guys are psychopaths. Like, straight up. I'm not joking. Frickin' Benny the Nutty Yahoo and Benny the Shit Hero, that's psychopaths, guys. Straight up psychopaths. So to... Uh, I was done with Geordie P a long, long time ago. But, man, if you're rubbing shoulders with these guys right here at the highest, highest, highest degree, you're... you're you're dealing with Satanists. I mean, that's straight up. They're, they're using some serious dark magic against humanity. And over these next 20 years, you're going to see stuff roll out like you've never seen roll out before because these guys don't want to let go of the, the, the power that they have over society. And the next video that I'll do is I'll do a video on that subject so you can see just what's going to happen over the next 20 years because where we're at right now we're we're entering into the bell curve of this huge energy energy transition it's really amazing stuff fellas because over thousands of years and i mean thousands i was most probably 250 odd thousand plus years human consciousness has just been on a steady but sure downhill run and like I've told you before, we transitioned through this timeline in 2012. Well, we still carried on down, right? We we're in a whole new energy timeline, but we still carried on down. As of this month, <laughs> I mean it, as of this month, we're in a 20-year bell curve where it's going to start to level out and then start to go up on the other side. And where it starts to go up, that's going to be the trajectory for thousands of years of human consciousness actually growing and increasing. So as we transition through this bell curve, oh my God, dudes, my dudes, let me tell you something. We are going to see a shitstorm. Why do you think the elites are making bunkers? Why do you think these guys right here, why do you think they're making bunkers? Why do you think they're, they're, they're burying themselves deep inside the earth's crust? Because they know that poop's coming down, something's coming down the pipeline. And that something is us. Because we don't, we don't want these guys around anymore. We do not want the power structures. The power, there is no energy. As we transition through this bell curve, the energy from the previous timeline is gone. Gone. Period. We are 300. We're a million percent in this new energy timeline. So the, these guys right here, they are going to do everything in their powers to keep us locked in the old energy. They're gearing up for wars, massive wars. Do not be surprised if you see some sort of massive false flag event here in the United States. They're gearing up to, as Benny, the nutty yahoo said, to bring Armageddon upon this earth. And just to show you, just to let you know how much of a bunch of lunatics absolute lunatics these guys are they want to bring armageddon upon the earth because they think it's going to bring back their messiah they want to bring back marduk which is just 
pure insanity. I just don't get this stuff in any way, shape, or form. But just so you know the level of the lies and mistrue, just the level of lies and deception, download that PDF and start reading. It will blow your minds, period. So until the next video, guys, that's this video done. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple. And like I said, there'll be another video come out here in a little bit. I'm going to get myself another whiteboard so I can lay this stuff out, draw it out so you can understand it more clearly. And I'll explain the stuff that we're going to be experiencing and how we can actually get ourselves through this period of time. All righty? And it's, it's not all negative. A lot of it is actually really, really positive stuff. And I'll explain the positive aspects also. It's, it's really pretty interesting because we live in this world of duality. So what we actually do need is we do need these clowns. We actually need these guys right now, believe it or not. They're going to do humanity a huge favor because they're going to wake humanity up. Humanity is going to see the asinine malignant buffoonery that these guys are going to pull and they're going to be humanity's going to be like whoa 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 hang on a second something ain't right here they're actually going to help us wake help well, not me or some of you but it's going to help wake up the rest of the sleeping minions <laughs> but anyway until the next video guys keep it real make it great good seeing you cheers